Fans mourn Ben Mitchell's poignant exit from EastEnders, leaving his husband Callum distraught. Max Bowden's farewell scenes added to the emotional roller coaster. Amidst departures and returns, including Lauren Branning and Johnny Carter, speculation rises over the mysterious upcoming death and Shirley Carter's anticipated return to Walford. Fans of EastEnders claim, I'll never recover, after watching Ben Mitchell's departure. The latter scene starring Max Bowden required a lot of tissues. Fans of the soap opera are devastated by Ben Mitchell's departure from EastEnders, which aired recently. Fans of Balam Highway are not happy that Ben and his husband Callum Highway are no longer together. Ben was detained earlier this week on suspicion of committing credit card fraud in America last year. It happened as he was frantically attempting to preserve Lola's life. Though Ben was determined to fight the charges, how did he end up leaving the soap opera? Ben Mitchell's departure from EastEnders unfolds. Ben was considered a flight risk and was not granted bail last night. It was very accurate, since back home Phil had obtained fictitious passports for him and Lexi, and they were collecting their belongings in preparation for their impending departure once Ben was released on bond. While Callum took use of his position as a police officer to visit his husband in the cells, Jay went back home to deliver the awful news to everyone. Richie had informed them. Though Ben was claiming innocence, Callum could take no more. I know you want to fight this, but if you really love me, you'll admit what you did and enter a guilty plea, he said to Ben. You'll receive a lighter term, return home earlier, and be set free. He pleaded, just for once, do the right thing. Ben acknowledged that he was afraid, but Cal assured him that he would support him, write to him every day, and try to see him as much as possible. Ben resigned and consented to enter a guilty plea. When he got home, Callum insisted he would be there waiting for him. However, Ben said that he didn't want him to wait. He informed his husband, All I do is hurt you, Cal. You must be at liberty. Ben said, Thank you for everything, but it's over now, despite Callum's pleading with him not to stop things. Even though Callum left, he returned a short while later and maintained that Ben wasn't in charge. He signed, I love you to him after promising to wait for him no matter what. Ben called him Callum Highway Mitchell and said that he too loved him. Through the bars, they shared a gentle kiss on the hands, and Callum left Ben crying. Bits of fans the scenes devastated those watching at home, especially Obalum aficionados for a long period. Even so, one stated they would never recover. Additionally, many thought the last scenes made up for Ben's leave plotline, which had drawn criticism this week for being overly hurried and taken out of thin air. One said, never underestimate a good writer, praising author Pete Lawson for doing the finale credit. You experience such intense and breathtaking emotional scenes that they exhaust you. Another person said, if he had to go, that was the way to do it, bravo Pete Lawson. Even though I adore EastEnders immensely, this episode has completely destroyed me. I cried. Please return them to me. I'll hold off, added another. My god, EastEnders, exclaimed another, even though I don't particularly like Ben, I was crying throughout the last ballum scenes. Even though I don't like Ben and Callum, I was crying during the end scene. Another person said, Max and Tony did such an amazing job with that, and even though Chris Clenshaw rushed TF out of it, it was kind of lovely. Max Bowden goes on. Max has already landed a new role after saying, goodbye, to EastEnders, it was revealed yesterday. As Jack Firebrace, he will be joining the 30th anniversary tour of the play Birdsong. A frontline sapper who is incredibly loyal and kind-hearted. Max posted the following on the official social media site for the show, I'm thrilled to be working with Original Theatre once more on a project that is very important to me. Through enduring connections in the face of adversity, Birdsong simultaneously portrays the horror of war and the beauty of humanity, and I can't wait to bring Jack Firebrace to life under their direction. Who is going off EastEnders? Who else is joining and going back to the soap opera? There will soon be some significant departures. In 2023, who will be departing EastEnders? We know there will be at least one more death after Lola's tragic farewell, after multiple exits and some awful tragedy. Even though Peter Beal, Ian Beal, and Cindy Beal, who was formerly thought to be dead, have already made some extremely spectacular returns to Albert Square, the comebacks don't end there. 
there will undoubtedly be more surprises since there are some really dramatic stories in the works. Chris Clenshaw, the head of EastEnders, has said that there will be more comebacks to watch out for, such as Lauren Branning's return to Walford. It has also been revealed that Penny Branning, Jack's daughter, will accompany her, so she won't be returning alone. Is tragedy, though, what drives them back to the square? It has also been confirmed that Johnny Carter will be returning to Walford. The role of the character has been recast once more for the third actor to perform it. More information is provided below. This is a list of everyone leaving, coming back, and joining EastEnders in 2023. Returning to EastEnders is Johnny Carter. The kid of Mick and Linda is reportedly coming back to the show. Johnny Carter moved north in January 2018 and has been residing and working in Manchester for the previous five years. Charlie Suff, a recent actor, will portray him, making him the third actor to take on the part. Ted Riley was the final actor to play the lead role of Johnny, having started as Sam Strike. Although the precise date of Johnny's return has not been announced, it will happen shortly. I'm so delighted to be joining such an iconic program, EastEnders was always on at my house when I was growing up, Charlie said in reference to his new position. I'm excited to delve deeper into Johnny's complicated and incredibly experienced persona. I've discovered that EastEnders is the most kind and caring workplace, and I already feel like a member of the family. Executive producer Chris Clenshaw continued, saying, I'm thrilled to welcome Charlie Suff to the part of Johnny Carter. Even though Johnny hasn't appeared on the square in nearly five years, his persona is still associated with the program and the Queen Vic, which is its most famous location. The dynamics of the Carter family have evolved considerably since Johnny's brief absence, so it's logical to assume that Walford will be considerably different upon his return. What then drives Johnny to return to Albert Square? Will his mother be happy to see her sausage once more? Fans respond. The announcement of Johnny's return has already caused alarm among the viewers. Because Johnny is gay, they are concerned that it might have an impact on Callum and Ben, a gay couple. He'd best not get Balam into any problems, someone commented on social media. How likely is it that he'll fall in love with married Callum? asked another person in inquiry. Let a gay character just be a gay character, someone else said. Instead of threats, Ben and Callum need allies. Allow the pair to be content double exclamation mark. While there hasn't been any indication that Johnny would get in the way of the guys, he did assist Ben in dealing with the murder of his first partner, Paul Coker. In 2023, who will be departing EastEnders? It's still unclear who the largest confirmed departure for this year is. In February's flash-forward sequences, we learned that there will be a death at Christmas. The only information we currently have is that it will die in the Vic and that it is a man. We assume that the close-up of his cufflinks is another significant clue. Scenes showed Linda, Kathy, Suki, Denise, Sharon, and Stacy standing over the lifeless victim. Stacy was covered in blood, and they all appeared surprised. Wearing a bridal gown, Sharon leaned over the man to feel his pulse. He's dead, she declared. However, who is he? Who will depart from EastEnders prior to the conclusion of 2023? The Panasar family has been the subject of most speculations thus far, with Nish and Ravi dominating the field. Is that, perhaps, a bit too obvious? Rocky Cotton Rocky, who recently got married, will definitely be leaving Albert Square. There were many rumors that Brian Conley, who plays the sly and chubby Rocky, had a falling out with the show's executives and was planning to leave. However, Enders have now stated that Rocky is leaving, and they say it has nothing to do with disagreements. The departure of Brian Conley from EastEnders is confirmed. Claims of a boss dispute are completely untrue, and the show fully supports Brian's choice to depart, which he made some time ago. As we move forward with his leave storyline, which has been in the works for a while, we wish him luck in the future. So, how is Rocky going to go? Is he going to be among the casualties of the fire that spreads throughout the cafe later this week? Or will his true troublemaking gambling habit be the ultimate straw that separates him from Kathy? Karen Taylor It has also been confirmed that Karen Taylor will be departing Walford later this year. After six years, Lorraine Stanley, who portrays the sultry matriarch, will be departing the part of Karen. On Instagram, she expressed her sadness at having to say, 
goodbye, but she was also excited for what would come next. Furthermore, Lorraine has been playing practical jokes on her admirers, hinting to the precise way Karen leaves. After wrapping up filming, she revealed on social media that she had a fan notion about Karen dying horribly. Was that a major hint, or was she just playing tricks on us? She appears to be more and more involved with Keanu's plan to abduct his own son, and it appears that this plot point will contribute to her exit. Will she take responsibility for Keanu's safety and go to prison? Or is she going to flee after accepting the ransom money? Whitney Dean Witt has been a part of the Albert Square wallpaper since she was 15 years old, when she was a youngster. Since then, she has experienced a great deal of pain, including the horrific discovery that Tony King had manipulated and sexually assaulted Whitney as a teenager. In addition to being sexually abused, she has also been married and divorced, abandoned her partner at the altar, snogged Mick Carter, tragically lost her baby Peach, and even killed her stalker in self-defense. And just when it looks like she's at last found happiness with Zach Hudson, we find out she's been scolded? To be honest, we're devastated. And we're crossing our fingers that Wit receives the happy ending she so richly deserves. In 2023, who else is coming back to EastEnders? Lauren Bradley The permanent return of Jacqueline Jossa as Lauren Branning has been announced by EastEnders. When Lauren last saw Peter Beale and their son Louis, it was in France. Lauren was shocked to learn that Peter had been hiding the fact that his mother, Cindy, was still alive, even though it appeared like they were becoming closer once more. Lauren dumped him because she couldn't move on from the betrayal. Why, though, is she going back to Walford this time? Is a reunion with Peter likely to happen soon? Alternatively, is she aware that her secret sibling resides at the Vic? I'm really excited, exclaimed Jacqueline Jossa upon taking on the role again. I've been following and adoring EastEnders like a fan, so it's such a great time to be back. There's been a lot of excitement about the show lately. I have a really particular place in my heart for Walford, so it truly seems like home. Penny Branning Penny Branning, Jack Branning's daughter, is returning to Walford after 15 years away. She and her mother Selena have been residing in France. Why does she return with Lauren, her cousin? Penny is portrayed by Kitty Castledine. She hasn't appeared on television since she graduated this summer. Kitty commented, I can't really believe I'm starting my EastEnders journey so soon out of drama school, in reference to joining the show. My entire family enjoys seeing me in Albert Square. I recall watching EastEnders while perched on my nanny Kay's knee. I'm excited to be portraying a character as feisty and cool as Penny because, as a wheelchair user, I think it's so essential to see challenged talent represented on television. She's thrust right into the thick of things, and I'm excited to watch what she does. It's been a long time since Penny Branning was in Walford, and she's a very different person from the one our viewers might remember, said EastEnders executive producer Chris Clenshaw. We love Kitty's addition to the program, and we can't wait for Penny to return to Albert Square. Online speculation about Penny's homecoming has begun. Lauren and she are both dressed in black. Are they returning for a funeral, based on this? Is this a sign that Jack will pass away? Why do she and Lauren wear just black clothing? Is this a funeral? One on X cried out, please tell me it's not Jack. One more said, Jack might actually be the body. Hang on, hang on. They both wear black dyes Jack's corpse there for Christmas? Asked another. Another person remarked, Lauren and Penny in funeral-themed attire. Is Jack the corpse during the holidays? Shirley Carter. To be fair, Shirley Carter hasn't received much kindness from Walford. After her son Mick Carter vanished at sea in December 2022, she departed. She was too plagued by their ghosts to stay when her sister Tina Carter passed away the year before. The good news is that Cheryl will be back. Digital Spy was informed by an EastEnders representative that Linda Henry would be making a return to the show. How soon, though, will Shirley be going back home? And how will she be received when she gets back? Will Linda welcome Shirley back with open arms after she received a picture of her with rapist Dean Wicks in the background? Who will appear on EastEnders? There haven't been any new arrivals reported since Ravi's ex-girlfriend Priya and their daughter Avani moved into Albert Square recently and are quickly making themselves right at home.
However, we are aware that the Enders bosses are likely to have some surprises in store, so stay tuned for updates as we receive them. Please subscribe our channel.